Hey, it's Matt with American Power Training. Today we're going to talk about clutches. So this is my uh, 83 Cadillac Coupe DeVille. We blew the engine up on Power Tour this year, lost the cylinder in the 427. While I'm building that engine over the winter, I'm going to stick an L33 in here. I'm going to put that one together, but that's another video for later. Right now we're going to talk about my center force died and what happened to the clutch. So I love the, the center force line of clutches. This is the, uh, the dyad. It used to be really pretty until I neglected it. So you can see these uh, heat marks in it and pop marks of where it was really slipping at times. Again, the floater hub looks awful. Look at that, the blue. Ink. And you're like, what caused this? Did you do a burnout? Never did a big burnout in this car. Never drag raced this car. And in fact, it seemed like it drove fine. But what happened was, I had an improperly ventilated crankcase system, and it blew out my rear main sill. So, I, this has been cleaned off for reference, but I, I left this out here where you can see the oil has slung out on the edge of the flywheel. See all that? You can see the marks where it's slinging out. So look at this friction material. It is absolutely soaked with oil. So it no longer is friction material. <laughs> Once it does that, it's now, you know, like absorb mat stuff. It just soaks it right up. It'll soak up oil, coolant, brake fluid. So the moral of the story here is, and the point of my video is, before you put in your new clutch, before you spend $1,200 like I did and ruin your clutch, check for leaks, check your crankcase system, check coolant, make sure you don't have any coolant leaks coming out of the back of the intake manifold. I've seen that before where it runs down the back of the intake manifold and gets into the bell housing. Check your hydraulics for leaks. You know, all that stuff will destroy a brand new clutch. And I hate, you guys know as much as I do, Taking a transmission in and out of a car is not fun, especially after you just put brand new parts in. So be sure to check your fluids, check your leaks, you know, just normal maintenance stuff before you go add new parts. Don't be like me and chuck this in here and then destroy it. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys out there. Thanks.